Hello Cancer, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the month of May, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you're brand, brand new, welcome. And if you're trying this for the first time, I do appreciate you being so brave. So um, I'm here to read for the month of May for 2024 for you, Cancer, to find out what's coming up in the next month. So let's get to it. If you are someone who is always here clicking and subscribing and being in the comments and hitting that bell button, by the way, the water reads you should come out on a Tuesday unless something like a full moon screws me over. <laughs> This particular one has been bad. How's it been for you? The Scorpio moon is like, it's like squeezing every tear out of me. It's like the, the definitely the big purge that we've been hearing about for me. How is it for you? All right, here we go. Let's take a look, find out what's coming up in the month of May. So this particular deck, this is the Sign of the Times Oracle. Uh, this is going to be your overall monthly energy. What is your overall monthly energy, Cancer? We do have the yin and the yang. You are going to come into some balance. So if you've been feeling out of balance, right, and that can be in many things, maybe it's health, maybe it's money, maybe it's love. It feels like four is telling me that there is some, some stability coming for you here, that you are on the right path. Please keep doing what you're doing and don't stop. This is perseverance. This is faith that things will work out. The yin and the yang. For some of you, it could mean that we are talking about a relationship coming together. The yin is the feminine the yang is the masculine and it's two two energies coming together with only this space between them it's like the yin pulls in or calls in and the yang pushes forward when they feel the yin is calling in so for some of you it could mean uh, relationship energy is off balance that will come into balance um We've got anchor and stability. If you've been worried about your money or your home or any of that stuff because of uh, the crazy economies that we're living in all over the world, no matter who you are, there's, you know, crazy crap going on in the economies. I feel like you're about to get a good tower. It's a so card number 16. I feel like some good news is coming to you here about your stability. So it could be about your home. We do see the red door. Now, I don't know about where you live, but in Canada, when you paint your door red or you get a red door, it's because your house has been paid off. It's like a celebratory thing. So I don't know if it means something different where you are, but it tells me here that you might be able to pay off your house from this windfall, or um, it will give you at least a little more stability in the things that you... Um, um, that you own um, the solid things in life, the 3D things, right? Let's talk about uh, the month. So we're going to pull three cards, beginning, middle, and end of the month. We're going to clarify all of these. And then if you want to hang around to the end of the reading, some of you may, some of you may not, but we are going to talk about love. At the end of the reading here, we've got the Lover's Oracle and we have the uh, Soul's Journey Oracle. And then we're going to clarify for all of these with the Tarot, of course. Tell me what's coming up at the beginning of the month for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So there is a fear, and I feel like the fear comes from you being out of balance at this time so something in your life is off kilter I want to say that you're struggling in some area whether it's money or love or whatever it is it feels like something you're struggling with here I just want to reach over here this looks like it's going to fall off the table don't need that it's full of ashes okay <laughs> all right there we go the middle of the month, what do we have? We have behind a mask. Look, it feels like you you come from behind a mask and you realize the fears that probably that's all they are, that you have a fear. But I feel like it's okay to be scared, but you just have to feel the fear and walk through it anyway. It feels like there is something here that's worrying you or fearsome. And I think it is something to do with your balance here. Um, and behind the mask, I feel like you're worrying about it, but you're not really showing anybody that you're worried about it. Tell me what's coming up at the end of the month for cancer what's coming up at the end of the month for cancer please we do have travel so for some of you you could be moving um, you could be moving permanently like maybe this travel means you're going and not coming back for some of you it might mean that you are going to make some sort of travel plans this could be a physical move but it could also be a move of the mind it could also be that you're you're traveling within the mind and because and I only say that because of all of the greenery and stuff that's around here the green is the heart chakra the pink is this is the um, the chakra that brings in all of the downloads that's the crown chakra we have the Sun coming in which tells me that there is some sort of a realization or a spotlight is on something here. It feels like there is a lot to be um, 
that a lot is going to be happening at the end of the month realizations that maybe you want to travel or maybe you need to go from here to there to see somebody take it as it resonates for you bottom of the deck we have your higher self you are becoming more in tune i think and it's not to say that you aren't in tune maybe you you know we all get to a place in our lives where we're instability out of stability instability out of stability it happens when we're learning lessons and we all should be learning lessons and so sometimes there are lessons we don't understand and they throw us off balance because we make a wrong decision but then we realize the decision we've made and we get back into balance again let's clarify let's clarify find out what's going on here tell you about the yin and the yang for cancer please what is about to come back into balance i feel like this is the month where where things become more stable beneath your feet my friend that's what it feels like tell me about balance please for cancer Tell me about balance for cancer. The yin and the yang. All right. So we have the the two of pentacles. It does indicate balance in the pentacle world. So I don't know if you've been having issues with money. Maybe you feel like there's not enough or you're working too much or you're in a struggle and a juggle. I feel like that's going to come into balance. This is also the reminder of the past, the, the present and the future and that the past is already gone. The future has not yet happened, but it's time to stay really balanced in the present moment. And as you do, I feel like some wish fulfillment is coming in for you here. All right. We've got the eight of cups. We've got the Empress and we have the Three of Pentacles. So I want to say that um, for some of you that this is the yin, right? The Empress is the ultimate yin. This is the feminine leaning energy that also has masculine energy because as people, we all have feminine and masculine energy, people, plants and animals, all of us. So the Empress, I feel, is someone who is your friend or they are someone that you know in the 3D already. This is somebody here that you are kind of emotionally disconnected from or perhaps you are seeing the Empress as emotionally disconnecting from you. I think maybe that's what you want to bring back into balance and it doesn't matter to me who's out of balance. I don't have a horse in this race, but it feels like things must come back together. Now, this could mean friendship, right? We've got the Three of Pentacles. For me, this is cooperation cooperation, collaboration, I'm on your team. It's like the Empress wants you to know, I'm on your team, Cancer. We can get this done together. Somebody is trying to partner with you or try to be on your team in the pentacle world. This is not love. This seems like someone who is really bossed up in their energy, has a lot of wisdom, has learned a lot of lessons. Somebody who's very balanced, does their own thing, supplies their own finances, lives in their own house, they pay for all of their stuff. This is somebody who has learned to be in balance through trial and error that's how we all do it right we all learn our lessons and so this empress here i feel is someone who really is on your team somebody who really wants to see you thrive and uh, this person i feel like they're disconnecting emotionally like this person could have walked away from you for sure they could have walked away from you maybe they're on their way back but i feel like this person is someone who really cheers you on whether you're speaking with them or not maybe you are maybe you aren't um, but it feels like whoever this person is they are somebody who is in balance and so they can teach balance you have to be the student before you're the teacher this person has gone through a lot of a lot of a lot of things in order to become the empress those are all lessons right the lessons of the queen of swords pentacles wands and cups so this person is in in uh, balance because of their wisdom and i think that um this person is is wanting to cheer you on that's what it feels like here so for some of you you could be out of contact with this person or maybe you see them as a little bit aloof or maybe disconnected emotionally maybe it's because they're trying to support you in a pentacle way um, and not in a an emotional way all right they probably also know that you keep your emotions under the surface so maybe they just don't want to provoke you you know what i mean Tell me about the fear that you have at the beginning of the month. Now, this is a this is just the first week and a half or so of the month, right? Tell me why we have fear. Hmm. You fear love, my friend. You feel giving reciprocal love. That's what it feels like. The fear of the uh, Three of Cups, having some type of reunion possibly with the Empress, but having some type of reunion 
being social, going out and having fun. Now, if you are a Cancer, you know that energy sticks to you. And for those of you who are triple water, I can't even imagine. I'm only a Pisces moon and it sticks to me. I don't go a lot of public places, but it feels to me like the fear is the Three of Cups, having the reunion or having to go out in back into the dating world or um, having to go into social places. This is celebration, happiness and fulfillment. So I feel like that's what you want with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is romance. So I feel like you do want happiness, fulfillment and celebration in romance. Um, and you, I feel like what you want, ideally, dreamingly, I feel with all these cups here, in your dreams, like it's like you you are giving reciprocity to someone. I feel like for a couple of you or a few of you here that you do want to give reciprocal energy to someone, but you're not yet ready to settle down, that you might want to give your energy to this one, that one, and the other one. Take it as it resonates for you. But I think that maybe the fear is, is that if you decide not to settle down, that maybe you can't have the celebration. But I do feel like you're feeling feelings, like you're fearing um, showing someone your feelings or giving reciprocal energy. That's what it feels like here. Um, that is what is on your mind. You're keeping it under the surface. You're not really exposing it or, or telling anybody about it, but you might have feelings for this friend here who is the Empress. We have the uh, Five of Cups from behind the mask. We have the three, uh, sorry, the Four of Cups. And then we have the Judgment card. You need to make a big decision about what you're doing with your emotional energy. And so I think that's why you're in fear of this because you haven't yet um, got a control over your emotional energy. I think that's going to happen in May. We have behind the mask. I want to say that you carry a mask and you don't show everybody what's behind that mask. But that checks out for Cancer because Cancer's kind of in the crab shell, right? You don't really show people your emotions unless you're really sure. And even at then, sometimes you're like, eh, I don't know, right? You're in a little bit of fear. We have the Five of Cups here. And so I want to say that what's behind the mask is that you're suffering some sort of a sadness, that it feels like a profound sadness or um, you feel like you have no more emotion. You have nothing left to give to this life or to a person or to a relationship. I want to say that you feel that you missed the boat or you missed out on it, that you missed out on your wish fulfillment. Five and four is nine. So it feels like you feel that you've missed out on your wish fulfillment. I'm going to tell you that whatever's meant for you never passes you by. So if you've just gotten out of a relationship and it's making you sad feeling like you can't do it or now it's giving you a fear because you've been hurt and and all that kind of stuff I just want to say that whatever's meant for you will never pass you by the right opportunity will show up and there's no need for you to worry about it but you do have to come out from behind the mask and I think that's your decision in the middle of the month I feel like you are making a decision to resurrect yourself from being behind the mask that's what it feels like for some of you this judgment please understand that we're still in the shadow period of retrograde. We're on the outro now. The next couple of weeks is going to be the outro because um, uh, Mercury went back into, uh, went back direct on the 25th of April. But it feels like here in the month of May that, um, that you are making a decision, a decision about something, maybe to ask for a second chance or go back round, or maybe someone's going to do that with you. But none of it is going to go off if you can't get out from behind this mask. If you don't let people in, right? If you don't let people in, they can't really see you for who you are. And I, I've seen cancer energy up close. It's really beautiful. It's very deep, very sensitive, very beautiful, feminine or masculine. So I feel like it's up to you to go over the details, Virgo energy, Piscean energy. It's up to you to go over the details of the self. You need to figure out whether you really do want to resurrect something or make a big decision to move forward here. Maybe it's time for some travel. Tell me what's coming up at the end of the month here. It's coming up at the end of the month for Cancer, Sun and Rising, Venus and Jupiter. We've got the Seven of Pentacles, we've got the Ace of Swords, and we've got the um, the Seven of Cups. I'm just going to put, uh, there we go, we've got the World card <laughs> in, the, in the distance here. So there is something here that I think you want to accomplish. And for some of you, it could be travel. For some of you, you want to go see that person you haven't seen in a while, or maybe you just want to get away by yourself in a cabin in the woods by yourself but we do have the seven of pentacles here so it tells me that you really need to spend some time nurturing the self i feel like something is trying to show itself you can see she's holding her belly here that something is about to be born and i want to say that it's time for you to nurture you to go inward to throw the seeds of intention and find out what happens and you need to pick a path that's what the intentions are you need to pick a path and it's going to be hard work i'm not going to lie to you it's going to be hard work to pick the path nurture the 
the self and decide what it is that you want to create in the 3D because she's holding her belly. She's pregnant, but it doesn't have to be children for you. It's really just the idea of creation, right, is what's going on here. And then we have the Seven of Cups. I feel like that whole idea of picking a path, really working on it hard and birthing something into the 3D is a very overwhelming feeling for you. These are the emotions, right? The Seven of Cups is I don't know what to pick. I don't know which road to take. I'm not really sure what to do. I feel like you first need to throw your seeds of intention and then you will be able to know what you're going to do. I feel like some of this could be illusion as well. I feel like there are some things that you think are in your path that really aren't in your path, but because you're so... Um, dedicated to being connected to yourself emotionally, sometimes it gets to be overwhelming, right? I feel like you need some clarity, some clarity and some truth. And I feel like it's coming at the end of the month. The travel energy tells me that you might be making plans. You might sign a contract to travel. Could be in the workplace. We have pentacles here. Some of you might have a business or maybe if you don't have a business, you work for another place. And I feel like some of you might sign a contract and it might regard, you know, it might might mean that you have to have some travel. Whatever is going on here in the month, I feel like whatever it is, you're coming to some type of milestone or you're closing the door in the old you and you're ready to open the door on the new you here. We do have um, the world card and the hanged man. It feels like there is some sort of a realization that's coming to you. Then it may seem quiet where you are now or you might feel stuck or you're hanging there not getting much balance trying to find the balance trying to find the answers i feel like they're coming the king of swords is the one who is who is like aha right holding the ace of swords in the in the air um a realization an aha moment right this ace of swords is down so it feels like at the end of the month maybe you um you get some clarity but it feels like you do make a decision to move on, move forward, disconnect from whatever's making you feel chaotic so you can go to the calm and possibly love is just around the corner then. That's what it feels like here. All right, let's get a deck and let's look at what is uh, the um, what the universe wants you to know. Let's uh, get you some advice from the universe. For cancer, please, advice from the universe. We've got the Empress again. Look at that. There has to be something going on with an Empress. Either you are the Empress or you are connecting with an Empress. It feels like you're trying to find the courage to love again. That's what it feels like here. The Five of Cups is telling me the moons in this deck are cups. The Five of Cups is again is here, right? Which is in the center of the reading here. You're trying to find the courage to get over this sadness, this loss. Like it feels like you are sort of stuck in your emotional loss. And I feel like... This Empress energy is telling me that you have the courage. You have the courage to approach this person or just to, to uh, promise yourself an abundant life. I feel like you're holding yourself back from your abundance. That's what this the strength card is. Holding back, not really taking action, knowing that you can, but you're not doing it. And I don't know why you're not. It almost feels like you're punishing yourself over something here. Something that didn't work out in the past. You have regrets. And it almost like you're like, okay, well, it didn't work out. Now I, I don't feel like I deserve that again. So I want to say that the strength is telling me that you do need some courage to approach the emperor if that's a person but the empress could be what is being birthed right right this this person is is someone who is creative with I ideas and new new cycles new chapters and so i feel like you need to be courageous to get out of this this energy of sadness here so you can um so you can move forward on this path here we do have the three of wands yeah you're waiting for something and I don't know what you're waiting for, like maybe waiting for this wound to subside, waiting for the regret to subside possibly, but it feels like you're waiting on it, waiting on something. And so you're holding back, you're trying to find the courage, maybe you're waiting because you don't feel you have enough courage yet to be able to move forward. Bottom of the deck is the seven of, of, um, a seven of cups, and it feels like you're sort of overwhelmed, right? We have the seven of cups here. You're overwhelmed, and it's time to make a decision or receive some clarity to talk to someone about something. Maybe you want to take someone away for the weekend and just say, look, we need to have an in-depth talk of what, what, what it is that's going on here. But I feel like it involves travel. Either you're traveling to that person and they feel they are very far from you. They possibly could be across the world or maybe just across the city. But it feels like you do need to travel to see this person. But it feels like an overwhelming task for you because the Seven of Cups is coming up twice. You are going to get victory, my friend. You will indeed get the victory. I'm just going to pull this off the table here and we're going to look at love. 
So for those of you who have stuck around for the love portion, let's find out what's going on for Cancer in Love, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Tell me about the month of May and love for Cancer. When we got here, only time will tell, it says. Only time will tell. And then we have this other card. What do we have here? We have freedom. It says there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. If you want the love, go get it, Cancer, if that's what you want. And, you know, the right person for you is going to want to talk about it if that's what you want to do. We have here, uh, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. And that even means failed relationships, Cancer. Even if you feel like you've been in a relationship that didn't work out, only time will tell what is coming next for you. It's like divine timing, that card. It's like you the universe isn't telling you. It's like you need to get through some stuff first before love is going to be on the table for you. We have regret. There it is again, coming up the third time. The Five of Cups came up twice, and now we have regret. It says, I know that I cannot change the past. I really do feel I'm connecting with a Cancer who's feeling very regretful, sad, or maybe even guilty about something that went on in the past that maybe you thought you caused. Maybe you didn't cause it. Maybe the other person did, but you still have regret that it didn't work out. But it feels like somebody here needs to make a decision to change their mindset. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You must move toward the thing that you want, Cancer. And no matter what that is, whether it's love or any of the other things we spoke about. Let's clarify a little bit here. Tell me about Cancer in love, please. Tell me about Cancer in love. me about cancer and love. So you do want it. Yeah, you do want this new path. You want the adventure. I can tell that you do, but it feels like there, there needs to be some healing. Look, this is the waiting period. I think that you're supposed to be here healing. I feel like that's the advice from the universe. It feels like you're supposed to be healing. You're supposed to be in regret. You're supposed to be feeling all the feelings of sadness and regret because you need to purge those things. We just had a Scorpio moon, a full moon, the ends of cycles. So maybe some Something came to an end for you, um, you know, around this full moon. But it is the final purge of energy. It's the final purge of emotion. The sun is here to tell me that it's going to be okay. Look, the, when the sun is here, you can see everything else. I feel like your your healing is going to work. I feel like it's taking place right now, and I feel like you're realizing where you need help, what you need to think on. That it's time for you to get your mental health in stability. Um, and then we have the two of wands, right? The sun is here shining on the two of wands. I feel like you've already made the decision that you want to go on a new path, but I feel like it's going to take some healing before you're going to be able to move. Um, the sun is about growth, right? It's also about a breakthrough. You will have a breakthrough in the month of May regarding this regretful love because only time will tell. Give yourself the time to heal. The sun is healing. It is It is growth as well. It's spiritual, personal, um, uh, um, professional growth. It's it's uh, it's just growth in your spirituality. I feel like you need to give yourself time to grow here before you take action. The King of Wands is here. I really do feel like with these three wands here that you're kind of waiting for the healing to take place so you can get out of this regret. We do have the King of Wands. Who is the person who is the pursuer? The pursuer of the things that make me feel passionate. This person's never going to give up whatever they want in the future. Um, they, they do have to feel inspired. And I feel like sometime in the month of May, you will feel inspired to go after whatever it is that makes your heart set aflame, whatever it makes your makes you feel passionate. But I feel like you need to feel divinely inspired like this king in order to be able to go and get what is yours. There is some but something that is currently growing. I want to say it doesn't have to start out with a big love story if that's what if that's what you're thinking. It can start out with a cup of coffee. Let's go for a drive. Let's just see each other. Um, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to meet in the park, right? It doesn't have to be anything huge. It could be just something that'll get you back in balance with this person, back in balance with some sort of a cooperative friendship, right? We have you 
juggling and struggling. But when you add the third pentacle, it adds the third leg to the stool, which gives a little bit of stability. The three pentacles is, I'm on your side. You're on mine. I'm on your team. Let's collaborate. Let's cooperate. What can I help you with? It's like somebody who wants to see you win. And there she is, the empress, feminine or masculine. Somebody here wants to, wants to lend to you their balance. The empress is ultimately in balance. She's got all of the lessons of all of the queens. And she has this wisdom and she wants to lend it to you, but you must reach out and ask for it. She's just not going to push it on you. I feel like you are wanting to be emotionally available, emotionally intelligent. I feel you're very sensitive and very deep. And the Empress knows this. And the Empress is going to give you time to do what you need to do. Whatever's meant for you will never pass you by, Cancer. And that's the truth of it. I feel like something is already growing in the 3D world for you. All right. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Cancer, for being here and watching. I appreciate you. Happy May to you. And uh, I hope everything happens the way you want it to. I'm out for now. Love you. Bye.